Hello and welcome to fit to box channel and today I want to show these gloves which are Everlast Protex 2 leather and these are the lace up version but I also want to do a bit of an overview about Protex 2's, Protex 3's, which ones are good, which ones are not so good uh, just to give you a bit more of an idea because it is a bit baffling I must admit when you have a look at how many Protex 2 and Protex 3 are available and the different prices as well which I'll, I'll come on to uh, also the, the massive difference between what you would pay if you go through everlast.com uh, to if you're living in the UK uh, surprisingly uh, normally you'd expect it to be cheaper in America than the UK most other things are but on this occasion for some reason Everlast Protex 2 and 3 in America are massively expensive and, uh, and fairly fairly cheap really in comparison over here in the UK so let me start off, I will go into these gloves in a second but I've got a, a few little things I want to sort of go through first of all so we have got here that is the Protex 2 PU Velcro version okay now these are on Everlast website for $49.99 that's about £40 in the UK they are £49.99 that's the recommended retail price and you'd pay about £22 for those gloves now I would say to you avoid those gloves um, literally the velcro on those gloves uh, if you pull it too far it does start to rip and because they are PU um, after a bit obviously start to break up so Protex 2 PU velcro cheap don't buy them there's lots better Protex 2 and Protex 3 gloves out there than these. So that one I'd avoid. Pay more money and get a better glove. So that's that one. Then we come on to the Protex 2 with leather. Now in, in the UK these are rare. Okay, You can get uh, Protex 2 with a long wrap around Velcro in leather. The Protex 2 in leather is way better than the Protex 2 in PU. Massive difference. Uh, then you've got these gloves which are the Protex 2 with the lace. So these are leather as well. So Protex 2 leather, good glove. Protex 2 PU, not a very good glove. Okay, okay, and that's that's a, a rule there. Then let's let's go on to I'll skip on to these. These are the Protex 3 Black Cuff Velcro. Everlast website have got these at $149.99. That's £120. That's ridiculous. These gloves are not worth £120. Now here's the, here's the big bit. In the UK you can buy these from Sports Direct the recommended retail price is £80 and you can buy them for £38 as opposed to, like I said before, Everlast are selling them for £120. These gloves are barely worth £38. I would say £38 is probably about right. With those, Protex 3 Black Cuff. Now the thing that I'd say about these particular gloves is the thumb for me is juts out a little bit and is at an unusual angle. You would be much better to pay £3 extra and go for the Protex 3 with the grey cuff. Protex 3, Velcro, grey cuff. Everlast website, $199.99. That is £160. That is ridiculous. In the UK the recommended retail price for this glove, and this is a good glove, is £85. And I would say £85 for this glove is a good price. Not Everlast's website price of £160. So in the UK, you can pick this glove up for £42 from places like Sports Direct. £42 is an absolute bargain. Protex 3 Velcro glove with the grey cuff, not the black cuff. There's a difference... There's a difference of three pounds, okay? There's a difference of three pounds. Go for this glove, not for this glove. It's worth paying the extra. It, there really is a big difference. Much better glove, 
Okay, let's put those to one side. And then above that, you get Protex 3s. I'll show you these pair. Uh, Protex 3s here. Uh, Protex 3, this is the laced Protex 3. £149, sorry, $149.99. 120 pounds converted to UK. They've got black cuff. Uh, they'll be a decent glove, but there's no way I'd pay 120 pounds for a pair of gloves like that. You, again, you're looking 80, 85, 90 for that glove. This one is a better glove than that. Protex 3 Evergel with the grey cuff. But again, it's got yellow laces on there, as as is that one. Uh, this one, um, 199 dollars, 99 cents. £160 on Everlast website. Um, ridiculous price for that for those gloves. I can't understand it. These two gloves are not very available in the UK, um, so you don't really see them. But I did want to point out that these these two gloves were on Everlast website for, for big money. Uh, you can get a hell of a glove for £160 from other manufacturers. So I just wanted to point that out. So let me come on to these. These are a good glove. They're rare in the UK, but they are a leather Protex 2 glove. And these are a lot better than the Protex 2 PU. Okay, let me just put one to one side and I'll just run you through. Okay, let's put that there. Okay, so you've got C3 foam technology. You've got that on the thumb. You've got the Everlast branding there. You've got Evercool there, and you've got that mesh part to the hand there. It's a leather, it's a nice glove, it's a comfortable glove. Let's just slide that on. Okay, so that is a nice glove. It's good padding, the thumb's okay, good padding on the thumb, good padding on the wrist, and that, for an Everlast glove, for the price point, is a good glove. Now I would say for the Protex 2 leather, if you can pay between 50 and 80 English pounds for these sort of gloves, you have got a good glove for your money. Okay, um, but as I say, they don't come up very often, but that is a good price to them. If you think that the Protex 3 with the grey cuff is recommended retail price 85 and I would say they're worth around that then these definitely if you could get them for about say 80 pound Or you know around then then you've had a good bargain because they are a good glove Now Everlast have got this reputation as Neverlast and I think For good reason because some of the low-end stuff is shocking Okay, so now what I would say to you is in the UK if you are looking at an Everlast glove, brand new, and it is less than £40, do not buy it. It is not going to be a very good glove if it is less than £40. The only one that I think is worth just slightly above uh, would be the £42 uh, Protex 3 with the grey cuff. So when I say under £40 in the UK, do not buy an Everlast glove if it's under that. Uh, I am including the Protex 3 with the black cuff because that's a, just, just underneath, it's about £38, £39. So these gloves in the leather, they're a nice glove. So I did want to show you them. I'll show you the, the thumb there as well. But even as I was sort of researching this video, one, I was amazed by Everlast's prices for uh, Protex 2 and Protex 3. I couldn't believe the prices that they're asking, and presumably some people are paying those prices as well. Um, in the UK, the, the prices for them seem much more in line with what the gloves are worth. You know, they're not the best gloves, but there is some good gloves in there, and there is some poor gloves in there. I wouldn't say that there's like fantastic gloves in there. Um, even when you go to Powerlock, Everlast Powerlock, I've had more people telling me that their Powerlocks have broken up in the padding area than any other glove that I have uh, reviewed. So I did a, 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 a video on the Powerlocks and I liked them in sparring but I didn't use them sort of for a, a consistent amount of time, especially not on the bag. People that have have told me that they break up very, very quickly and then they're not worth the money. So I have to give credit to my viewers 
um, people that make comments because you're experiencing you know to a, a greater extent some of these gloves whereby you're really road testing them so I do take on board those comments when people come back and uh, you know with the Everlast Protex 2 uh, I know from personal experience we had a load of them at our gym and they lasted a while but ultimately they all started to break up and um, that short velcro as well on the Protex 2 and Protex 3 just take it to where it should be it's not a wrap around velcro it's not designed for that some of the gloves do come with the sheaths and my advice to you is wear the sheaths you put the sheath onto your arm you put the glove on and then you get someone to pull the sheaths over the, the top of the velcro or the lace. So use the sheaths, they are good. There's a guy at our gym and he always use the, uses the sheaths and his gloves are in great condition. Um, he's got the Protex 3 with the grey cuff. Um, but anyone that's got them and they're pulling it too far to try and get it tighter, all that will happen is you will break the elastic on those gloves. So I wanted to show you these. Uh, only because there is such a difference between a Protex 2 PU and a Protex 2 leather. If you're lucky enough to find a leather pair, then they are worth just uh, paying that money for them. Okay, but with the PU ones, you know, you pay is a small amount. I mean, as I say, in England, they're £22. So I'll, I'll leave you with my my bit of advice that I said before which is if you are in a sports shop and you are looking at a pair of Everlast gloves that are £40 or less do not buy because they will break up they won't be very good um, quality they might look good the colours might look great but they're not going to be very good at the very least Protex 3 with a grey cuff at £42 in the UK is a good glove and to be fair, the fact that Everlast on their website are selling that glove for $200, uh, that is unbelievable. I can't believe that they've still got that price up for them. £85 recommended retail price in this country, and I would say they were worth about £80-85. But in the UK, you can pay £42. So there you go. I wanted to just... Uh, show you those hope you've enjoyed that video please like and subscribe to fit to box channel and i shall speak to you soon